I completely understand that Christmas was yesterday, but I just have to talk about this. Tattletale is the quintessential Christmas horror game, and let me explain why I think that. Tattletale is a game where you wake up five days before Christmas, head downstairs, open up your present early, and it's a tattletale, which is kind of a mock-up Furby making fun of how creepy it is and how demanding it is sometimes, and just copying its overall design. We get to experience the rest of the four nights before Christmas as it gets more and more demented and creepy as it goes on. A mama tattletale, multiple color tattletales, and a ritual to stop mama. Explaining that makes it sound a lot more simple and almost dumb than the actual game. The actual game would be put inside of the category of mascot horror, along with Five Nights at Freddy's, Poppy Playtime, and Garden of Ban Ban. But I think the Tattletale is probably the best mascot horror game outside of Five Nights at Freddy's. Tattletale has a unique gameplay style, and it's not trying to be silly and cute. It is actually twisting the cuteness around, unlike Security Breach. Gregory, I need you to get in my hole. Huh? Or instead of embracing the fact that it's a horror game, they embrace the fact that they have mascots that they can use. That's why Garden of Ban Ban is becoming so successful. The mascots are there. The bright colors are there, but where's the horror? And I think that's why Tattletale hasn't taken off quite like Poppy Playtime or Garden of Ban Ban. It actually is a horror game first and a mascot horror game second. They're trying to be innovative. It's different than the others. It reminds me a lot of the first Five Nights at Freddy's. It's an experimental style with great gameplay. That's another reason why I think that the Bendy fandom is sort of silent right now. You see things like Garden of Ban Ban and Poppy Playtime exploding because they have such easy to market colorful characters. Bendy has these black and white and yellow designs. They're not easily marketable to kids. And that's why I think that Bendy and the Dark Revival sort of had a quiet release. Some people didn't play it because the views weren't gonna be there. People weren't gonna tune in just because there was games out at the time that were much more popular and colorful and bright and able to put on thumbnails. Tattletale really tries its hardest to appease both. The bright purple Tattletale you can put on the thumbnail, but the game itself is actually scary. It takes place around Christmas. The Christmas setting amplifies this game to a whole new level. The game is very dark, but not just in the sense of that the story is creepy and mysterious and has some dark underlying themes. It's just pretty dark. You need to shake your flashlight to light it all up. And the only colorful lighting really only comes from the tattletales and the Christmas tree, which makes it feel super duper childlike and like as if you're in the mind of a child. This makes the game feel like a real Christmas game without having to be about Christmas. Along with the Christmas lighting and the feel of it all, I think that it makes for a Christmas vibe by also making the camera feel super low. It makes you feel super duper small and it makes you feel like a child. I think that the developers knew exactly what they were doing. They made the camera super low, they made the lighting super good, they made the toy like a Furby, which is also a very popular childhood toy. It just is the perfect game for Christmas and childhood. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and maybe even leave a comment to get this video up into the algorithm. I've been really trying very hard to post a lot more and I think I'm going pretty good at it. Thank you to the developers of Tattletale for making such a great and iconic game. He loves you.